Am I the butthole for leaving my wedding with my wife? Title is confusing, so I will try to explain it as good as I can. Also English isn't my first language so sorry if this is hard to understand. I, male, 29, have been with my girlfriend, female, 29, for about 6 years. We love each other very much and have a fulfilling relationship we are however a very introverted couple so when we discussed marriage, we were both on the idea that we didn't want a traditional wedding or a wedding at all. We wanted to go to a courthouse by ourselves, no friends or family, sing the paper and then go to our honeymoon. In our country this is very weird since wedding are expected to be massive, over the top and every member of the family must be invited disregarding your level of closeness with them. We got engaged in relative secret since we were already living together and shared the information with our closest family, when they asked for our plans, and we told them they didn't take it very well and a lot of fight began with both families but especially with my mother and mother-in-law who would not tolerate a marriage that didn't involve the Catholic Church. After a few months of fighting and since there's a pandemic going on we went ahead with our plans and got married by ourselves and went to a month-long stay in a secluded cabin. When we returned suddenly all bad blood with our parents and extended family was magically gone and both my mother and mother-in-law were again very friendly as if nothing ever happened. After about three days since we came back my mother-in-law invited us to the wedding of one of her friends as proof that all was forgotten she said she would pick us up so that we wouldn't get lost which was weird, but we didn't suspect anything. The day of the wedding we arrived at the location and say that everything is still being putting up, so we figured we were a bit early and should help but then I saw my family and some of my in-laws, turns out it was our wedding, and they had planned it to be a surprise they already had a dress, church, food, DJ, everything. Of course, we were shocked as we were very vocal that this is not something we wanted then they told us that since we were driven there, we wouldn't be able to leave and should just be grateful. Here the story becomes too long to fit the 3000 limit so to summarize we called a friend to pick us up, and we left. Of course, both families are super angry at us and constantly call us to tell us how ungrateful and disrespectful we are. At first, I thought we were right to leave as we made or reasons for not wanting a wedding and especially a religious ceremony, but we've been told they invited over 200 people and felt very humiliated when everyone arrived, and we weren't there so now we are doubting and there's nothing like asking strangers for judgment. So Reddit am I, we, the buttholes? Not the butthole they basically kidnapped you to perform for them. You had every right to leave. Original poster replies. That's exactly what we felt. She drove us there, so we would have to stay, basically we were taken as hostages. This story is so insane, that I'm questioning that it's real or not. How can people be so self-absorbed they show no regards for others like this? They treated you like puppets, not the butthole. That's actually is my brother-in-law favorite trick. Just put them in the middle of it with no way out, and they have to comply to save face because otherwise they humiliated us and how could they? Yes, yes we can and you deserve humiliation. Edit, wow, thanks for the likes and thank you very much for the award. I think my dad is your brother-in-law. That is going to be a tough conversation. LMFAO Smiley face Joke would be on them. I have no pride left, and am mostly fueled by spite. I read that as fueled by sprite amused. I read it as spit laughing out loud. I always warn people, I will gladly sink the ship we are both on just to spite you if you try to manipulate me. My wife has seen it in action and will back me up laughing out loud my best friend tangled his business in the middle of a divorce to prevent his ex-wife from profiting off of it after he had very strong suspicions of her cheating, but no hard evidence he could use in court. It was a glorious thing to watch, and two years later his new company is thriving. She also paid her lawyer on a CC which she had to max out, so she ended up breaking about even after the proceeds from their house. It still makes me chuckle. She was awful to the dude, and he's a stand-up dude. Tried to get him stuck with child support for someone else's kid who she already received child support from. Yeah, totally sounds realistic. My mother tried to do the same thing when I was younger and then I started driving myself. Then if I arrived on time, she would strategically have someone else block in my car or go out and move hers to block my car, so I couldn't leave. I had to start showing up 20 minutes late and parking down the street in a random direction or in a place where I couldn't be blocked in without using 3 to 4 cars. 
Eventually I bought a Jeep, so now I just park in a place where no one can get to me and I can off-road it out if I have to. People are crazy and original posters family can get bent. Even if that's a tradition, they can be upset about it, but they're still being buttholes for how they reacted to that upset by kidnapping original poster and his wife. Always wild when they're like how could you, not do whatever crazy thing I'm trying to force you to do at gunpoint? You're making me look bad. Like no, the crazy thing you did is making you look bad. I'm Indian. It's real. Edit. My best friend and I had a pact once my mom started making veiled threats of arranged marriage that if my parents ever tried to force me, he would marry me, and we knew they wouldn't kick too much of a fuss because he's part of the religion, even if they don't like him very much. I am lucky I had someone willing to help if they try to take me out of the country and marry me off, I was threatened with this quite a bit. Lots of young people don't have that support. Now, I'm just 27 and a disappointment so no decent family will want me as a daughter-in-law. Thank God. In Poland it would have happened too. My first thought was this was Indian. If they didn't want to be humiliated in front of 200 people, they shouldn't have done something humiliating in front of 200 people. This is purely the consequences of their actions. You were under no obligations to go along with it just to be polite. Also, since we were driven there, we can't leave, are taxis not a thing? Buses, trams, trains or walking away not a thing? Not the butthole. Not the butthole. They had no right to do that. You told them you didn't want this and were hoping to embarrass slash guilt slash shame slash trap you into doing it anyway. They're upset that you put them in an uncomfortable position but that's exactly what they planned for you. I'm glad you guys stood up to them as a team. Original poster replies. Thank you, ever since we announced our plans the guilt trips and manipulation was over the top. Yeah our families sound similar. Congrats to you and your wife for managing to develop healthy boundaries despite them. What have they been doing now in terms of manipulation and guilt? What are they trying to get you to do? Apologize? Or have their wedding? It may be time to take a break from both your families and go low contact for a while. Take this time to enjoy being newlyweds and to discuss how you're going to enforce your boundaries with your families. Yes, boundaries. Both you and your wife need to have a serious discussion on establishing boundaries with your families, the consequences for when they stomp all over them, and how you're going to enforce the boundaries. You and your wife are the immediate family now. Your wife is now your number one priority, as you are hers. Your parents, sibling, aunt slash uncles, and grandparents are now your extended family. They don't get to be in charge of your lives, and your parents do not get to try to parent you anymore. This mean no one but you and your wife get a say in, your finances, your jobs, children, where you live, your vacations, medical issues slash decisions or any other private information, unless both of you agree to share such info. Along with needing some firm boundaries, you and wife also need to agree on how much information about your lives you're going to share with your families. You both need to be on the same page and always present a united front. You are a team. Just the two of you. There is no one else in your marriage. Start your marriage off right and one way to do that is to take a break from your family so that you can bond as newlyweds, and also discuss how you're going to handle your extended families as an unbreakable team. The just no communities, our slash just normal and our slash just no family, can tell you how much toxic and overbearing families can cause a lot of stress on a marriage. So play the offense so that when your in-laws or parent try to guilt or manipulate you, you are prepared and already know how you're going to handle it, together. That way you're not just responding to the crap they pull after they pull it. Don't let their toxicity and need for control get in the way of your marriage. Also, you need to be prepared for your families to ramp up and not let this go. It's possible that they will just rug sweep it and pretend it never happened, but you need to be prepared for when slash if they decide to punish you, guilt you into making amends, or making it up to them by allowing them to force you into another wedding. It's very likely that this isn't over and they are just sitting back regrouping before they come at you again in order to regain the control over you they think they're entitled to as your parents. Because this is really what the wedding was about control. Also, I would recommend checking out the r slash just no family and r slash just normal subs for better resources and support. Because you absolutely have just no families. Reddit link. A surprise celebration alone would have been over the top, 
but to pressure you into a religious ceremony you expressly didn't want is really inexcusable. And the priest slash deacon they conned into this should be ashamed of himself. Even if your mother somehow made him believe that they were acting on your behalf, he should have insisted on the marital counseling before that. We had to sign a questionnaire before our Catholic church wedding. They threw you a surprise wedding? Not the butthole. If any part of this is true they're crazy as f and you should cut contact. Original poster replies. Although uncommon in my country and region this type of surprised wedding is not unheard of but it mostly happen when people get pregnant or if both families are super conservative and find out that sex has been happening, since this wasn't our case we didn't suspect anything but I can see why it would be hard to believe. I read a story a while back about a couple who were fighting both families over how the wedding should go. Like, the bride wanted to wear a slim, fitted dress, T-length, but the groom's mother insisted it should be a full-on princess style. The couple wanted a navy and silver theme, but the bride's mother insisted on pink and cream. Lots of stuff like that. Long story short, the couple got invited to a family reunion, or a relative's 60th, something like that, and when they got there it was a surprise wedding. The bride was pretty much manhandled into a princess wedding gown, and the groom, who had been led away when they arrived, to come and meet your Uncle Bill from overseas, or similar, was looking shell-shocked in a kilt at the front. He hadn't wanted to wear a kilt. It was a crazy ride, and totally believable, and was about 40 years ago. Both families teamed up against the couple, in a nutshell. I hate the control some parents think they have over their kids' lives just because they gave birth to them. Oh God, me too. From what I recall, it was a while back when I read it, the couple were emotionally blackmailed into taking part, the bride's mother told her the groom had agreed as a surprise, and the groom was told the same about his bride, and how would he he feel if you left him slash her at the altar? Disgusting. They didn't cut contact for many years, but they did eventually cut contact. Edit, oh. I remembered. The groom's family wanted the bride to wear an old relative's dress, it didn't fit her, was faded and awful and old-fashioned. That's what she got married in. Not the butthole. My husband and I eloped at the courthouse 19 years ago because of issues with family wanting a major, and inappropriate, say in our wedding. I have never regretted not giving in to the guilt trips, screaming, and other forces brought against me. It's you let them win now, your boundaries will never be respected. No is a complete sentence. Original poster replies. Thank you. A big part of what we chose to do it only by ourselves was precisely to avoid drama or have our families take full control of the wedding. I might be wrong, but judging from this post, they seem like they might try to take focus off of you and make it about them, or just not really care slash acknowledge it's your wedding. Not the butthole. The humiliation was self-inflicted. You told them what you were going to do and did it. If they cannot respect that two consenting adults have their own ideas and preferences, that's their problem. Congratulations on the wedding you both wanted. Original poster replies. Thank you. I guess they just couldn't accept that we weren't having a church wedding. Not the butthole a wedding ceremony is between two people and how they envision the process is all about them, never for others. The Oz are your mothers trying to force you to have anything other than you dreamt. Original poster replies. Thank you. Maybe it seems selfish, but we wanted that moment to be only ours. Not the butthole they literally abducted you with the intention of forcing you to participate in a ceremony you have already stated you did not want to be part of. They abducted you and your wife, to force you to participate in a wedding ceremony they planned against your will, and now they are angry because you found a way to leave. Literally. Abducted. You. You aren't the butthole here. Your families are. You're already married. It's done. Their obsessive behavior is terrifying, and I hope the two of you can find a way to move past this. Congratulations to you and your wife, I'm glad you had the wedding you wanted. And I'm so sorry for what your families are doing to you. Not the butthole. However, if it were me, I would have staged a whole breakup fight at the altar stomped out and left the people gaping. Thank you for watching. 
Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.